<sighs> oh, Bobby Fish. Oh, Bobby Fish. Oh, Bobby Fish. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans. For the fans, I'm your host Conrad Cushman, being joined tonight by the man in black. It is Stan. It's Dad. It's Derek. What's up, D? What up? What up, guys? We are here with another wonderful episode of AEW Dynamite review. Uh, it is greatly appreciated to have you all in here. We record this podcast live on YouTube. Type in Everything Pro Wrestling. Subscribe to the channel. Getting real close to that 2K mark. Uh, also, also show us some love on the, uh, audio trains as well. We've been moving up good pods. Shout out to them. They have us ranked on their podcast. We're doing pretty wonderful over there with this and clash of the podcast every Monday at six Oh five Eastern standard time, same place, same time. Um, but everything goes over to the audio platform, Spotty, Spotify, I almost said Spotty, Spotify, <laughs> Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and anywhere else you like to listen. We're on Amazon Music now, too, by the way. So put, the, put that in there as well. Uh, put that in your pipe and smoke. And we got a lot to talk about when it comes to AEW tonight. We got a lot of news, a lot of goodies, lots of stuff to talk about. Uh, enough of us talking that mess. Let's drop that thing and get into Dynamite. Yo, big shout out to my guy Montezzi. Derek, nice recovery there with the uh the beard, the beard wipe before. Perfect timing, <laughs> not gonna front. Uh a little behind the scenes going on with you guys. D, what's going on with you though, bro? Ah man, just going, bro. Getting, getting, trying to get through school. Got two more years of sports management. It's rough, but I'm gonna make it happen. I'm, a, I, I, I meant to tell you, bro. I, I'm getting into business now. Business law, I think. Who, who's your professor? Uh, Anyone I know? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna find out in a minute. Okay, let me know who it is, and I'll see if I can uh, pass some words of wisdom along. I love business law. Business law is good. Business law is great. Um. We're going to get into Dynamite and such. Uh, I guess let's talk some, well, you know what, let's welcome some people and then we'll talk some new stuff here. Terrell317, first one in here, one of the uh, EPW faithful. He is appreciated. We don't agree on everything, but we don't disagree on everything either. So you are much appreciated, brother. He said, oh, heck, yeah. <laughs> on the fatal four-way of the pillars at Double or Nothing, they get well, we got to get to. There's a stipulation that comes with that. Yes. Um, yes. And we're going to get into everything else that you have brought up, Terrell. Looking forward to what you have to say. Um, Matt Lopez says, good evening. BJ said, the show wasn't as weird as last week, but the order of things seemed very odd. I think Darby Guevara should have been the main. Yeah. yeah. I, I. Well, as you guys see, I structure the uh, podcast similar to that as well. And I thought that's what we were going to end up getting. Like, I thought that that would have been the main event. That's why it's in the title. Should have been. Uh, I don't know why they didn't go with that. I, you know, it Well, the other angle does have more interest. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. You know, so I, I couldn't be mad. Uh, Deanna in the house. What is going on, Deanna? Welcome, welcome. B-Boy Skyline also in the chat. New WWE belt is mid. I said what I said. I think you're hating, bro. Oh, the uh, the new the new title. I, I like the new belt. I like the new title. See, respect. By I the like way, it. put it up on TikTok. Eighty three percent of the EPW fans on TikTok and Instagram agree. They think that it's a nice looking belt. I, you know, I, I like the the touch of the black on it. Like, uh, like I, I don't know, bro. It's 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 something different. I never thought WWE would venture out that way. To, I mean, I mean, granted, they did have like the uh, John Cena uh, chain spinner, I guess. But um, no, yeah, they, this is like a classic style with a little bit of edge. Cena's belt worked from like 05 to 07. Then I wanted it to go away. Yes. This I think I can I can I can be with this for a while. Yeah, that one just hung around too long. And it's a throwback to the World Heavyweight Championship, which is one of the prettiest belts around. Yes. 
Speaking of the prettiest around, Pro Wrestling Shoots in the chat. What's going on? Every Tuesday, the Pro Wrestling Shoot is live. Yeah. You guys got to show them some love. Jesse and James hold it down every Tuesday. Similar format to this. If you like them, you'll definitely, or excuse me, if you like us, you'll definitely like them. Vice versa. We, we kind of share, promote each other. Every week in the beginning of the Dynamite Reviews, you hear Jesse kind of welcoming you in if you listen to the audio versions. Make sure you guys show them some love, man. I love those guys. So good peeps right there. Uh, Deanna, Conrad, and Derek. Why do I get the dot, dot, dot? Where's my, is the exclamation points for both of us? I hope so. I hope so. Uh, Deanna, my girl. Matt Lopez said, did everyone hear that CM Punk chant? Hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm putting it out there. Eric Douglas in the house. What's up, E? He said, uh, I thought, uh, <laughs> oh, no. He ain't ready yet. He ain't ready for that. Uh, oh, another strange dynamite people were saying. Uh, I sent my new sponsor a link to EPW. Might be seeing new promo code on this show. Hey, hey, listen. If you guys got people you want us to work with, if you need those, uh, if you need some headphones discounted, you tell them EPW will do it for you. We'll do it for you. We can talk numbers. It's all good. XGW in the chat. What is good? My man, Sean Hubbard of Hubbard Wrestling Weekly, co-host of Clash of the Podcast with me. It's where Hubbard Wrestling Weekly meets EPW and magic happens every Monday live at 6.05. Show us some love. We talk about all things in the world of professional wrestling. My guy, Hubs. He said, blessings, gentlemen. I'm happy to see you E back together, sort of. Elated that the New York Knicks won. Let's go next. <laughs> and uh, disgusted with WWE and Vince rumors. Again, blessing, brothers. We'll have to see what happens with that. I'm waiting for more of that story to develop, but I was very disappointed today. And I had someone tell me something. I couldn't tell what they meant by it. So actually, I won't I won't say nothing yet. But I feel like they're going a route that I don't like with it. Uh, so <laughs> Matt, Matt said the Rangers are blowing it right now. <laughs> Jesse said the new WWE belt is fire in my opinion. I just wish the belt itself was a bit bigger. Yeah, I think it's the guys today aren't as big, so you can't yeah. really fill it out. It ain't WCW where they were like, we're out here putting steroids in your booty. Jocelyn says, evening, fellas. What up, Jocelyn? I pre- Jocelyn, I appreciate Come you on. too. Thank you to the Twitch homies who are uh, watching on Twitch, man. Always some good love. Always some good love. Now, Derek, we had a, a wonderful night. And do you know what, what happened tonight, Derek? What happened? Well. Shout out to BJ. <laughs> Shout out to BJ. Um, Pro Wrestling Shoot putting the ones up. It, it's all good, man. It's all good. Um, all right, let's get into some of these notes, truthfully. Yes. I, just, I just had to troll Derek because that's what we do on here. Um, first thing that I want to talk about is uh, some of the goodness. I don't want to talk about spoilers from Impact. I saw a bunch of people send me that stuff. Uh, I, I was going to try to avoid that, so I don't want to say anything just yet. Let's see what happens with it. First, I guess we can talk about this with you. CM Punk! He, you know, Raw was in Chicago this week, and he uh, he was there. He was there at Raw. Just showing up, saying hi to a couple people. Sounds like he's trying to make amends. Um, I saw that he was he was kind of taken to task by some wrestling fans over this. I'm okay with it. Like, who if cares? He, he signed to AEW. What's he gonna do? Can't go anywhere. I didn't understand a lot of the complaining about this. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm definitely trying to uh, avoid avoid any of the drama with this. Listen, if the dude's saying sorry, now he can't say, oh, he doesn't mean it. He doesn't mean Who the hell are you to tell someone if they mean sorry or not? Right. You don't. All right. You either choose to accept it or you choose to keep walking. That's right. the only two things you can do with it. Uh, OK, so I, I it sounds like he apologized to Miz. He definitely. He definitely had one of the best lines ever to Miz for uh, Miz giving him that little smart aleck line on that. Remember that Fox show he was on for a while on FS1? Yeah. 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 He told him to uh, he told him to do some very naughty things. That's all I'll say for right now. And I don't know. 
I really liked what they were. Uh, I, I really liked that CM Punk like apologized. It sounds like he apologized to him or spoke to him, tried to clear the air. Like, listen, I can't be mad at somebody who's trying to like make things right. At at the end of the day, you know, it's it is what it is. He's trying to unburn the bridges that he had. You know, can't, can't napalm the village, bro. That's right. what you know. Can't do stuff like that because you know when when it. When the time comes for him to retire, he doesn't want this black mark on his name. Right. So just let just let the man apologize. And, first, and second of all, like, okay, he showed up at Raw. Who cares? He still signed the AEW. Unless if Triple H and Vinnie Mac are gonna buy out that contract, which they're not going to do. Right. Deanna said it's his hometown, he can go where he wants. Um, Matt Lopez says Ricky Starks was at the Rumble. Enough said. Pro Wrestling Shoe says F Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez. Well, he said it, not me. I was not feeling, dude. If you watch it on mute, they look so sad talking about this. This is what you wanted, remember? He needs to apologize, he needs to say sorry, right. and then, well, oh, uh, you know, uh, uh. Cut the crap, bro. I'm over all of this. Seriously. Word on the street is that Vince kicked out CM Punk. Word on the street is WWE said to Punk to tell them they are all in. WWE versus AEW at all in or nah? Definitely not. Nah. <laughs> Punk will never do anything correctly in the eyes of the IWC. He's literally become the cult of personality one way or another. Well put, BJ. Yeah. And I agree with Rob here. Vincent Company did the right thing, sending him home once the news leaked. Yes, because you don't want to be considered tampering with contracts. But let me tell you this. CM Punk's not the one talking. It's the wrestling news sites that are the ones talking to people on Twitter. Yes. They're the ones keeping the man's name going. And that's what people live for, the juice, the dirt. That's what it is in pro wrestling. So don't get mad at him. Right. Get mad at all of them. They're the ones who keep bringing them up. Well, he shouldn't do things that make them want to talk. You don't have to write about it. You don't have to write about right, it either. Yeah. I choose to ignore certain things on this show. There's I no, choose. No point. I don't. I don't tweet everything I hear. Everything I know. It's you, not. It's not. It's not relevant. Uh, Punk said on his 2013 DVD, "He don't burn bridges. He blows them up." Glad to see the growth. <laughs> Pass that man some duct tape. Uh, call me when the tribal chief shows up in the impact zone. What's, 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 I don't even know what name you would have. What's Roman Payne's doing here in the impact zone? They don't wrestle in the impact zone anymore. Who's the stooge though? Cutler. <laughs> That's all I got. That's the only person I know is a stooge. Big time. Uh, it's to call me when the tribal chief stops being Brock Lesnar staying at home part two. Hey, can't knock the hustle. If you saw Brock doing it, he got to be the top guy. What does that tell you? Yo, I'm going to say this too. Me and Sean have said this a million times on Clash of the Podcast every Monday live, 6.05. But when we talk about this stuff, Vince McMahon encourages this bad behavior. Yes. He encourages it. He did it with Hogan. He did it with Brett. He did it with Sean. He did it with Cena. He did it with everybody. Austin, Rock, Hunter, name whomever you want. He encourages this. Don't be mad when people do this stuff. Vince says it's okay. Okay, I'm doing it then. Right. In AW and WW, I'm curious to know who the snitch is. Will we ever whoever whoever's doing all that stuff to punk, you should really just stand up and admit you're the one doing it. Like, yeah, I said it. Yeah, at the end of the day, it, it's gonna come out. <laughs> Just, just admit it now. <laughs> the juice. Someone call Hoovy. Where's my brother at? My brother loved Hoovy. Yo, Hoovy always came out with mad water in his hair. <laughs> yeah, he did. Liaki. <laughs> yes. Trojan fanes. Oh. Bad at. Bad at. Trojan money. <laughs> <laughs> Vince always does it. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on, though, we, we got some more news, and I'm sure there'll be more punk in the upcoming weeks. I personally believe that CM Punk is serving his suspension. I've said this on multiple like podcasts and said it again. I think he is serving the suspension that the elite had to serve. The time frame seems like it lines up. It'd be 12 weeks. They were gone for 12 weeks. Punk's missing out on some stuff. He probably could have came back. He probably could have been on this pay-per-view. Guess what? Got to serve the same suspension the elite did. You're not injured anymore. You're good right. to go. So they got their plans in place. Let bygones be bygones. And if the elite, if the elite don't want to play, that's on Tony then. You know what? And if right. this all blows up and gets bad, I'm blaming Tony. 
Yeah, because he should have definitely did something. And the elite should definitely, they should all get in a room and say sorry. Punk included. Everyone needs to apologize yes. to everyone. And then let's make it right for the fans. Right. Derek, shout out to my man Jack Cassidy on Twitter. According to Fight TV, AEW Dark Elevation is coming to an end. It had a good run. This was my palate cleanser after a bad shit Monday Night Raw. Here's what we got for a minute. Uh, it, this is on the fight, so if you guys have the app, F-I-T-E, friends of the show. Uh, don't miss the special and final episode of Elevation. It is the best of Elevation, Aaron, on fight. This, the wait, excuse me. The episode is throwing it back to some of the best matches that have graced our Monday nights over the years. I'm sure you're going to get Kenny Omega and uh, Joey Janela. Oh, Joey Janela. Joseph! <laughs> it's going to go down. So, Dark Elevation looks like it's gone. Not really upset. I mean, no. with the rumor of a new show happening, AEW Collision, supposedly, on Saturdays, right, I yeah. can't be mad. No. Uh, take it for what it's worth. I mean, it, you had to get rid of something. You you have way too many. You had, you had Dark, Dynamite. Like It's just too many. And then you're about to add some, too? Like, Well, here's the problem with those shows, though. They were matches where you were getting to see independent talent brought in and stuff like that. And I'm sure you can still do that, but maybe you don't need elevation and dark. Maybe you just need one show for it. I think it's just a need, bunch. If, if anything, yeah, no, you just need one. And then, but, but you, you also have to remember though, they, they still have ring of honor too. So ROH, ROH. So you, some, something has to give, something's got to go. Yeah. AW Dark Elevation is canceled. Where where the game? <laughs> if you're talking about fight forever. I listen from from little chatterboxes, uh, from from crumbs. What, what did the butcher say? A crumb fell on my shoulder and told me there should be some news coming soon regarding the video game. And I'm not trying to be funny with the like coming soon. I mean literally, like we're gonna probably have some news coming soon. I would say within the next month, be prepared to start hearing some stuff about the game. All right. Ready. <laughs> oh, I said <laughs> the pro wrestling oh. shoot. Oh, and Aaron Rodgers officially with the Jets today. <laughs> Get out of our division. <laughs> can't have nothing. That's what Buffalo should be called. The can't have nothings. You can't. You can't. Does anybody not see the Cowboys and the Giants? That division is wide open. Wide open for the taking. <laughs> You want an easy playoff spot? Go to one of those teams. You there. This is you true. There. This is true. No, nah, let's go to Buffalo and ruin their day. <laughs> we got the hardest division. Yeah, we're going to sell out stadiums. Who the heck's going to want to be in the playoffs? We're going to be all beat up. Come on, fam. Put them in a big bouncy house so no one gets hurt. <laughs> Terrible. TK, uh, don't got no bearskin rug. <laughs> oh, damn. This AW All Access makes it look like nobody can get along in the locker room. Uh, crazy thing. I forgot who told me this. Uh, but someone told me that on Reddit, anytime a negative or fighting story in AEW gets posted, it gets like a crazy, I want to say like 300, 375% more like looks, likes. Really? Yep. Because of negative content sells. That's why they have AW All Access for those wondering. Uh, we get to we do get dark still with Taz and Excalibur. That in itself is a gem. Yes, dark is still there, so we don't need to. I agree with that. Uh, with what Jesse and BJ are bringing up, you don't need two dark shows. Is that for the international viewer since it's on fight? Uh, I believe they just aired it on there. I don't know if it was free on fight. I think it was part of that AEW Plus package. I think probably. Um, Mondays will never be the same again. I hope I read that right. AW Collision, yo, chill, chill. Don't get me started on Eric Bischoff. AW Wait Forever, oh, you better be glad I don't have my meme up with Tupac. Don't, no more saying that joke. It's been worn. We'll get that game, BJ. We're getting it. Robbie Eagles, oh, Robbie Eagles was at the taping. Okay. Who's the crumb, Conrad? Who's the snitch? I got, I got a few crumbs. I know some people that know some things. AW got a lot of content for uh, Max. They do. They do. AW uh, fight, fighting to come out in store soon. 
Ain't nobody worried about them GD Jets, Rob said. That was me. I'm your stats guy. Thank you, BJ. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, remind me how many Super Bowls Rodgers won. I'll wait. He got one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got one. Cowboys, Giants, whatever the Washington team is called. <laughs> They're trying to sell still, I think. You need to worry about that. Let's uh, let's get into some of this. <laughs> Here's our lineup tonight for AEW Dynamite. Uh, we had the black ropes back tonight. I was I was feeling that a little bit. I thought that was well done. Yes, uh, black ropes are definitely a, a nice touch. No yeah. matter no matter how you look at it, it's it's a nice touch to have, right? It's all good. It's all good. Aaron Rodgers about to throw all over Buffalo, get the tables. Man, don't make me Devon Dudley up here. <laughs> wow, someone trying to say my man Brian holding up fight forever. Brian ain't got nothing to do with that. Leave <laughs> that man alone. I see you put the laughing face, though. He's kidding. Uh, BJ said, wait forever, as in the singer Berlin once said, no more words, Aww. no more promises. You guys, you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Let's start with the opening contest tonight. The AEW International Champion, Orange Cassidy versus Bandito. Bandito. Derek, have you seen Bandito live? Not live. Not live. You never? Out of all the Ring of Honor shows we went to, you never saw him? I think I saw him once. Oh, that, not that I can remember. I am I'm, I'm, I want to say I'm almost 100% positive that I have never seen him live. In- well, we always went to the ones with the New Japan guys, like right. used in a little bit. Bandito is returning to television after he had some visa issues. Good to see him back on TV. Uh, this match was exactly what you expected. Orange Cassidy's story right now is that he is battling through and being a defending champion. Right now, they are bragging about this, man. He is yes. braggadocious. And for those who hate Orange Cassidy, I'm talking about the people who call him, oh, it's Pockets. <laughs> Go check. Pockets has the number one YouTube videos for AEW. <laughs> Cut the shit. All right, Pockets is making Tony Khan money. So Pockets is going to be on TV every week. Right. Hot Pocket that. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't understand when people complain about that. Ah, bro, because they, they, they need something to complain about constantly. If they're not complaining about something, then what are they actually doing? I think wrestling shows are also too big to where you think if someone's not going to have a complaint about something on the show, there's always something that could be better. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I agree with what he said. Orange Cassidy's killing it. Deanna said this is her match of the night. Mm. Who's Bandito? Bandito, that boy. That's who he is. Mm-hmm. Uh, Orange was playing all the silly games, the slow cartwheels. He put the hit Bandito's fingers in his pocket. Bandito, if I were you, I'd call HR. Right. Uh, I don't <laughs> think he can do that. And if and if, and if he if, if he tells you to say your hands were cold, <laughs> this case is getting dropped in HR. Boom. Don't fall for any of this. Um, Bandito gets tired of playing the games. Uh, I love the strength he got to show in this with the suplexes, the one-handed military press slam. I thought this was fun. It was. Um, a lot of lot of energy, a lot of moves um, being displayed. You think Conan's going to complain about that Eddie Guerrero frog splash? He probably will. <laughs> no, he won't. He probably will. <laughs> no, never. I don't want to get to what Conan said last time. We'll get <laughs> minus fifty points for that. <laughs> like, <laughs> nah. But that's just me dogging Conan. But what did you think of uh what did you think of the match overall, man? We're getting into the finish here now. The, the, this this was a dope match. There, there's nothing you can say about this match where you could say, Oh, this happened, so this takes away from the match. No, it doesn't. There's there was nothing in this that you could really convince me of saying that this took away from the match. It it hmm. He popped up. Orange Cassidy, he comes down. Orange punch. And then he hits the beach break and gets the win. Afterwards, they show some mutual respect. Orange gets a second pair of sunglasses, puts it on Bandito. Uh, Taz brought up the great point of, you know his ears are covered because he's wearing a mask, so the glasses aren't going to stay, right? <laughs> so I think he was supposed to stick the... Uh, glasses through the... The holes? Yeah. Yeah, you got to stick them through the holes. There you go. Boom. Solid. These things slide off my face all the time. See, these bad boys don't have those nose pads on them. That's, that's what that's what Bandito might need. That is true. If not, next time you got to get the little strap. 
Oh, you gotta get the strap on them. Get the Steve the, Urkel. Ho- the Horace Grants. Oh, oh not the Horace. <laughs> the Grants. goggles, baby. <laughs> that's that's what stopped me from going to the NBA. Couldn't see my shot fully. If I had them goggles on, <laughs> the goggles. So I'd be like, motherfucker, did you play with your glasses on half the time? <laughs> Brick squad. <laughs> Brick squad. Backboard. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we haven't said that in a long time. Right? Um, <laughs> replay. <laughs> Matt Lopez said this was a fun match. Bandito looked like Cam Newton out there. He was good. Uh, Taz said he had no ears. <laughs> Taz is a fool for that. I would, Taz had me laughing at that. Uh, we're going to get to – I'm going to start with this one in one second, Pro Wrestling Show. I saw what you put here. Uh, Adam Cole – and Maybe. Renee Paquette were backstage. Adam Cole said he's going to call Chris Jericho. If he doesn't come out, he's going to find him. Yes. And when he finds him, he's going to beat his ass. That simple. It was a promo. I appreciated Adam Cole being serious tonight. Yes. Uh, when was the last time we've ever seen him serious, though? Been a while. Yeah, I, I, since NXT, I'd say, like, this is the most serious he's gotten. But he has a serious angle, so... This is true. Give him some good shit. He'll do some good shit. I like it though. It, it deviates from him being the the cocky guy that he usually is. The right. you know the normal Adam Cole character. Right. So Show, showing some uh, vulnerability. Next up now, um, so he's out there. Uh, Orange Cassidy then shows up after that interview. And he's like, "What's going on?" <laughs> And Renee's like, uh, we were just talking to Adam Cole about what happened last week, and blah 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 blah, and what with Britt Baker. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? He was just like, oh. oh. <laughs> and then they go to him and he walks away. The bandito's behind him with them stupid sunglasses on. And then, <laughs> oh. oh. And he walks away. <laughs> what? Yo, foolishness. This is the weirdness that we were talking about on it. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was funny. It was funny. Um, the, for, you know, for those who don't enjoy this kind of banter, some something wrong with you, man. You, you got to be crazy. Like, because this is just fun. This is what wrestling should be like. This is what storyline should be like. It's everything should be fun, but it's not a, after the, you know all the time. Yeah, we got some we got some mean talking going on in the chat about Cam Newton. He oh. putting up pictures of bricks in the chat. My boy Colt is back and has a friend or three. I like it. I loved OC the OC Renee thing. It was fantastic. Because you weren't expecting it. That was one right. of those like, oh, I wasn't expecting them to do something like that. Right, right. So the olive branch was extended. Cool. Um, afterwards, Jungle Boy and Darby Allen had a little promo. Yo, Darby Allen's face paint tonight. Yo, that that was smooth. It was on fire. Rated R Tokyo has entered the chat. What is good, Tokyo? Appreciate you, family. Tell Chuckaroo we said hello. It's right. been a while, Chucky. Yeah, yeah, Chuckster. Maybe, maybe we'll see him in the fall. Yeah, but yeah, I, I really had fun with uh, the promo with Darby and yeah. Jungle Boy. It seemed like he was trying to endear him to help him, and then he insulted him. And I'm like, what the heck kind of baby face work is this, bro? What are you doing? Yeah, that caught me off guard a little bit. I'm like, um, I don't think that's how that works. Not at all. Not it at is, all. It is what it is, I guess. So he asked for his help tonight, and Jungle Boy sounded like he may or may not watch his back because he knows that the same shenanigans that happened last week are going to happen this week. Right. Absolutely. Surprise. Next up. Now we can go to your comment, Jesse. Jesse said, my match of the night was Dax versus Jared. Boy, that double J is so underrated. Words I never thought I'd say. Uh, I know the chat about to go off. Well, well, it's my world. I have no idea what that song has ever been say, bro. I didn't even know there were lyrics in it. There is all I know is it's my world. Jeff freaking Jarrett. This dude is hilarious. Uh, they are going up against the current AEW tag team champions. Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler. Um, we need to see more of these guys in this one here. Yes. Um, highlights were shown of what's been going on with Mark Briscoe. They showed Jeff Jarrett and, you know, how they've kind of befriended him since the Jay Lethal match with him. Yep. Then we also see the highlights of FTR versus the Briscoes, probably the greatest trilogy oh. tag team wrestling match. It, you know what? I don't know if I'll say all time, but at least in the last 20 years, I'll say. 
That's fair. That is very fair. Really, really good stuff here. Uh, BJ already knows it's my world. E, we got we got the Jeff Jarrett fan club up in here. Uh, I don't care about this match. That ten star FTR shirt is all I need right now. That shirt is kind of dope. I like FTR. Uh, Derek, what do you think of this match overall? I mean, we don't really have a lot of notes for this one. No. There, it was a lot of arm drags. It was what you expected from this match. Yes. Um, they wrestled. Yeah. I thought I thought it was okay. I thought it was an okay match. Um, I like that Dax didn't let him taunt either. He just brought that up. Yeah. Like he, he mentioned Def Jam Vendela trolling. But, like, dude, yeah, you don't let someone just hit their taunt on you if you're up. Like, nah, pop him, bro. Right. Yo, don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Don't disrespect me like that. Right? Yeah. Like, uh, I, don't do me like that. Like that. That. That's mad crazy. What you're doing right now? Like, I'm. I'm right here, bro. If I'm knocked out or something, okay, cool. But you ain't did nothing to me to 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 the point where I I'm like, yo, you got chill. <laughs> you know, I had Humpty Hump in my head when you said that. <laughs> do the baby. Do the Humpty Hump. hump. I do the Humpty Hump. Who's your favorite? You were you seem like a Shock G kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I once got busy in a Burger King bathroom. <laughs> Remember that one movie with Dan Aykroyd? Yes, dude. I hate that movie <laughs> with the song. Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Why yeah. can't we think of the name of it right now? Hold on. Now you have to pull it up. Hold on. Uh, anybody shitting on Jeff Jarrett's in ring ability has never truly paid attention. Jarrett has always had it. He was just a uh, nepo baby. Yeah, nepotism might have hurt Jeff Jarrett with some of it too. Jeff Jarrett has always had a bright future, has a bright future world champion. Uh, there was a botch in this match by Dax. He thought Jarrett hit him and mistimed it. Um, no, here's what I'll say for this match. I'm glad that they got some of that stuff out of the way in this match because I like the work they were doing. Yes. I think I I said this. I felt like Jeff was trying to keep up with Dax, but it was just a little slower pace than yeah. what Dax is used to. Yeah. Like I said, now when Cash and Jay Lethal face off, I think it's going to be a different story. Oh, absolutely. Um, Yeah, pe people have to, like, for me, yes, we saw the hiccups in the match, but for me, I, I understood what was happening. Jeff Jarrett can't move like that. So... If this was like, let's just say, a trios match, would you would you have understood what was happening? Nah, that? See, you <laughs> see the bias. I caught him. I got him. Hook, garbage. line, sinker. Reel garbage. him in, baby. It'd be he, garbage trios match. See, hey, mm -hmm. the movie is nothing but trouble. Yes, by the way. yeah, yeah. I just just found it. If you guys have never seen that movie, yeah, that's a great movie. Yeah, 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 It's a great movie. It is. It's a great movie. <laughs> it definitely is. And then you you have to see Dan Aykroyd in this movie. Like, bro, I used to watch that movie, and uh, oh my goodness, is it called The Witches, where the witches turn the kids into? Yes, the, yo, witches. I used witches, to watch yep. that all the time when I was like five on oh, HBO, shit, bro. I used bro. to just sit there. I'd be like, yo, this is crazy Yo, bro <laughs> like like that 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 used to make me like think about being around like older women like that as a kid like yo you're tripping is that where the fetish started <laughs> <laughs> we don't kink shame around here but you're all right you're all right with me <laughs> that's exactly where that fetish started <laughs> two solid workers good match even with the small boo-boo uh, he said Jeff versus Dax in the Owen Cup rematch. Could Ooh, happen. Could like happen. Uh, that movie was how I learned that Tupac was at once in Digital Underground. He was. Right. He was. <laughs> let me tell. Let me talk to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is be wildin'. Deanna yeah. said they, <laughs> they were. Do. That movie got such bad ratings, but yeah, I saw it on TV and watched it again and again. Some yo, listen. Yeah. I always tell people this. You guys ever take a quiz on me if I ever become famous? It's all up to you guys. Uh, one of my favorite bad movies of all time is Ladies Man. <laughs> I'm gonna bite your butt. Like, I love that movie. It is so bad. I remember people be like, yo, I hate it, but it was so bad that it was good. Yo, I love it. Yeah. The uh the scene where they're in the bar, the dive bar eating the food. Nobody's ever ate this before. <laughs> all right, you win. Right. <laughs> And he took a bite. What, what was this tasty delectable? <laughs> or whatever he said. 
This ain't shit, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Terrible movie. Highly recommended though that Bro. you guys go see it. <laughs> Someone looking at Derek. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, E. It's all right. Show him some love, man. He he likes the older ladies. He's good. I, I love the older ladies, bro. Any movie critics hate? Uh, usually, I love. <laughs> that is just that wrong with that. Who's ready for the draft tomorrow? We all are. We gotta see what the Bills do, though. The real, the, the real draft. Trade rumors, though, for us right now. I don't know, bro. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I, well, he is good, though. He is. I mean, but he's but good. I mean, well, it's game over. That, like that, that's a lot of money, though, bro. I know. I know. <laughs> like you got to give up a lot. Rob says on HBO Max, so in a weird way, they can uh, feasibly have a relevant crossover with AEW. Way to bring it around town, Rob. Real quick, you know, it was another good movie too. That like, you, it was it, it wasn't that good. It, it was okay, but it wasn't that good. Um, Drop Dead Fred. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was a good one. That was always on like TBS. I yeah, feel like. yeah. I only watched it for for Fred. Like the rest of that movie was garbage. Hey, bro. Let's finish up this match here. I feel like we, we deviated too much from Dax and uh, Jeff Jarrett. Dax gets fed up. He chopped Jeff Jarrett a lot this match. Sanjay comes out, interferes. They got told in the beginning of the match to stay in the back. <laughs> Dax said, I don't need cash either. Like, I got this on my own. Sanjay gets chased around the ring after he grabbed his foot. Dax caught him, and then eventually he ran right into the stroke. One, two, three. I'm glad they didn't use the guitar. Nothing yes. makes me more upset than when someone gets hit with the guitar and there's just guitar shards all in the ring and the ref's like, one, I don't know what happened here. Two, I didn't see it. Three. <laughs> you didn't. You don't see all the guitar pieces right. in the ring, bro? Um, um, but. Gotta love it. Double J gets the dub. I think this is leading to a tag team match, folks. Yes. Bow. Drop Dead Fred is a classic and no disrespect. It is a classic. But I only watched it for Fred, though. Yo, listen, I swear when Derek's not busy one day, me and Derek are going to do a Q&A, and it's going to be like a free-for-all. Like, I'll let oh, you guys man. ask whatever you guys want, and we'll go through it. We'll have to, that'll have to be an extra one day. I would keep saying that, but it never happens. But I got to catch Derek when he's free. He's been busy. Thursday, Friday. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see with this guy. Maybe maybe in the summertime we'll do it one of the days. Uh, Owen Hart Cup. Has been announced. This is uh, Mr. Tony Khan's. Who? Well, it was his announcement. We'll hear from him. Right. You know, everybody. Oh, what's the announcement going to be? Blah blah blah. Listen, I was hoping for the video game myself. We didn't get it. Stop over analyzing these Tony Khan announcements. Go in expectations low. Yes, and you'll be probably more, less than disappointed. To me, the worst one he's done was that all access announcement. I was like, who cares? Right about yeah. that, but. Yeah. Everything else, I think they've been solid so far. Yeah. I, I don't have any complaints about it. But he announces the Owen Hart Cup will continue. The opening ceremony will take place at Double or Nothing. We will be getting matches also at Forbidden Door. That's for us. For the people. Cool. Get some of those matches. Give us some of that. Give us some of that. We will be there. Forbidden Door. Definitely apply for the media scrum. We'll see if I get in. Probably not allowed. I'll bring muffins. <laughs> Tony! <laughs> Tony, where's that fucking video game? <laughs> Sir, you're going to have to leave. <laughs> you're like, you're like, uh, well, what's what's that video that, that goes around? It's like, what's your name? <laughs> what? What is your name? <laughs> Tony! <laughs> Uh, yesterday I was watching White Man Can't Jump, and for the love of the game, both movies I got in the mail yesterday, along with Bend It Like Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> the random array of movies right there. <laughs> right. Free for all, and Derek will be Bond. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, at least the cup will be done in Owens Town. Yes. So they did right. say that after Forbidden Door, the tournament will commence in Calgary, Alberta. You got to say dramatic pause, like Landstorm. I'm from Calgary. Dramatic pause. Alberta, Canada. <laughs> Yo, that that is like the only place. No, nah, it's all it's Canada, bro. No, bro, it, that's like the only place where you, you have like three different names. Calgary. What are you talking about? Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Nah, bro. Don't nobody ever say Toronto, Ontario, Canada, bro. They say Toronto. They say see, Toronto, you got, Ontario. See, you letting you letting Drizzy get you fucked up, bro. <laughs> that's the proper way to say it. 
Nah, bro. Who says Toronto, <laughs> Toronto, Ontario, Canada? He said, I hope the Hart family fan actually wins this time. You leave Adam Cole alone. <laughs> he might have liked Bret Hart, too. Yeah, he's like, oh, Shawn Michaels' ass. <laughs> they got to ruin everything. <laughs> Go in. Expectations low. Mr. Bryan said he's using that at work. Always going with your expectations low. You think you're, you think you're getting a raise? You better be like, maybe it's just pizza. Maybe right. it's just pizza. And then when they offer you money and pizza, you'll be like, oh, okay. It's not Pleas- too bad. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I'm, and then when you're disappointed, you'll be real mad. <laughs> uh, random is my middle name, Terrell said. <laughs> Um, next up, we had a dude. They did not say Wardlow was gonna be in a match, right? It just said we'll hear from. Yeah, well, I, I don't remember him or remember them saying anything about a match. Wardlow faced someone. All I could make out was Ariel. It looked like it was Ariel Izzy, maybe. I don't know what the name was supposed to be. Listen, the I've talked about this longer than the match went on. Powerbomb Symphony, game over. Arn Anderson gets on the mic, cuts a promo, and he is interrupted by one of my favorites. Christian Cage. Damn it. I love Christian's music, bro. <laughs> Give Christian a chance. Yes. Um, Christian Cage comes out, and it looks like that him and Luchasaurus are going to step up for the challenge, mm-hmm. and they kind of back off. I like this. I'm digging Luchasaurus' new mask and look. Yes. I like it. Yes. Uh, Giving me some uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 vibes. Getting, getting ready to say that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think Matt Lopez coined him looking like a Zord last week. Oh, yeah. You know, for Power Rangers. Yeah. Little, I, I didn't watch the new one yet still. I haven't uh, watched it yet either. They said it's only an hour. I got to just an sit hour? down and watch yeah. it. Yeah, 50-something minutes. 55, 55 minutes, I think they said. I mean, I, I could rock with that. Yeah. I could rock with that. I mean, you got you to gotta remember, the, 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 this is like the Power Rangers, bro, like. The originals. Arn Anderson cut a great promo here. By the way, I saw a good promo with Brock Anderson and Brian Pillman Jr. Mm-hmm. Looks like they're a tag team now, just like Arn and Brian were in 1995 really? for a little bit. Well, wait a minute. What happened with Man Stiff Leg Garrison? I think Griff's injured. Oh. And I think they were trying to move Pillman away from that. I told you that varsity thing wasn't going to work. So when Griff yeah. comes back, he's going to have to get a new gimmick too, I feel. Yeah. But I think to. Griff should go to ROH. He should. He should. I think you could do something more with him down there. That's just my opinion. Um, someone said the Green Ranger. Hmm. Uh, Goldberg versus Wardlow rumors. I'm hearing could happen. Wardlow oh. seems to want it. Listen, if Goldberg's gonna wrestle, bro, listen, we have to accept the fate that Goldberg may have one last big match. Why he, not? No, bro, he owes. I'm saying if he's losing, I don't care. I don't have an issue with it. He's not going. I don't want to see none of that Bray Wyatt beating the fiend crap. That pissed me off real bad. You can't do that, bro. He is old. Deanna said War Daddy versus Luchasaurus. Don't tell me nobody likes Wardlow. The ladies love Wardlow. This is true. (laughs) Go Green Ranger. Go. (laughs) Christian gets paid to put on tactical turtlenecks in a slightly darker black. Turtle doves. Uh, <laughs> Rock and Brian would be a good tag team. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Every, don't even start that Joker stuff right now. We have to send him away. <laughs> MJF and Sammy Guevara, they are the two best friends that nobody wanted to be around them. Spanish God. These fool, this foolishness. Uh, they're best friends, they're hugging each other, they love oh, each other. There's money to be made. They, yep. <laughs> oh, they're great. I got your jacket. Yeah, sure. They're the foolishness. Sammy's wearing the, the scarf. Like, this is crazy. Yes. Uh, I don't know what they were doing here. BCC then show up. RJ City's backstage. Why'd they beat up RJ? Right. Wheeler Yuta. <laughs> Stop being a shithead, all right? Bro, why is he so mad? <laughs> Wheeler, you, yo, he is Captain Planet, bro. I'm tired of telling y'all this. I just better see Captain Planet gifts and memes when Wheeler Yuta <laughs> shows up. You can tag me in them. Wheeler Yuta beats up people for whatever reason he sees fit. Oh, you littered. Boom, done. Kick the crap out of this dude. I want to fight you. I'll pick it up. It's too late. (laughs) Like, you you can't just beat on people. RJ tried to make them say, 
hey, hey, EW, if you don't watch that, best part of my Sundays, bro. I wake up, I sit there in my pajamas, usually t-shirt and basketball shorts, and I'm just sitting there, I'm like watching Hey, EW, as I prepare toast for the intern. Best Sunday morning start of my day ever, because RJ will usually have me in tears. Terrible. Yo, bring back a steel. Chill, 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 chill with that. <laughs> he went from Dragosaur to Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> so Sammy gave MJF a jacket and Max gave him a cheap ass five dollars card. Are you surprised by any of this? Right. Goldberg Mash needs six agents. Y'all need to stop it. Oh. Stop it. Stop it right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys are too much. So Let's get into this tournament final. I'm looking forward to the show. I always love the look of Double or Nothing. Yes. Looks sexy. Not going to lie. It's it's just got this Vegas feel to it. I don't know. I like it. It's like a city of lights at night and yes. stuff's happening. Yes. Looks cool. Um, Sammy Guevara versus Darby Allen. Four Pillars tournament finals here. Um, shout out to my man, Montezzi. Always good to hear his theme when it comes on. Uh, MJF did commentary for this match. Darby went for a German suplex. Sammy blocked it with a low blow and hit an Asahi moonsault. Very Th- nice, too. That means dragon. That's a little Dusty Rose reference for those who didn't get it. I, I just happened to be watching some old nitros this or last weekend. That was <laughs> he said that was that means dragon. <laughs> uh, so he hits the Asahi moonsault. I thought it was great. Uh, they set up a table. Sammy hits a Spanish fly from the top. He puts Darby on the table, 630. No DQ. This is some ECW-type mess or New Japan where, on, I guess, on the outside, anything goes. Um, MJF comes down to the ringside area. Darby sees it. He's like, no, nah, forget that. Grabs the skateboard. He's like, come on, get in. Hit you with that axle. And, uh, yo, we should get the old fingerboards. Remember those? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely used to get in trouble. Japan air. <laughs> right. Christ air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You didn't think we knew about skateboard and stuff. Yeah. Brothers know too. Tony Hawk. Peace. <laughs> Peace. So after that, he gets the skateboard. He's holding it. The ref sees MJF. The ref's like, back off. Back off. So what does Sammy do? He grabs the skateboard, throws it at Darby, and falls to the mat. The ref sees him. Hits the classic Eddie Guerrero. Oh, I know you used the skateboard. Ring the bell. We get a DQ finish. Sammy I was Guevara not expecting wins. That. Not expecting that, bro. Cheap victories for the dub. Listen, I I was not upset. They uh they got one over here. Yes. I hope I hope Coney is not too mad or Chavo's not too mad with the Eddie tributes. Chavo said he was working everybody with that too with the Rey Mysterio thing. He had people mad. That's why I was like, I don't know, Chavo. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. But Chavo definitely had me upset when I first was reading those. I was like, come on, fam. Honestly, with the Eddie tributes, I think the only person that's really able to do that is Ray. Well, Chavo. Chavo. I mean, aside of Chavo, but like. You mean who's in there today? Yeah, who's in there today? I think Ray should be the only one who should be able to do. That. Glad I thought you were gonna say something disrespectful. No, no, okay. Because I know you like to bring up his other family member that doesn't exist. I mean, damn, my son. <laughs> That's Eddie's son. <laughs> Derek always says that. That's Eddie's boy right there. Um. So afterwards, they go up the ramp. They're happy. We put, we fooled you. MJF says, everybody sucks. I suck. You suck. We all suck for ice cream. Pause. (laughs) Play. (laughs) Is that vanilla? Uh, So vanilla bean? (laughs) Yeah, there's giant ice cream in my freezer right now. I told you, bro. So... (laughs) (laughs) I... We've lost all control tonight on this show. <laughs> all control gone. So they're happy. They're laughing. And they're laughing it up. Everybody sucks. And then Tony Schiavone gets on the mic. And he's like, you listen here, you little prick. Yep. And MJF's like, you can't talk to me like that. I just did. <laughs> Tony Schiavone, the perfect irresponsible father of AEW <laughs> for all these high school acting <laughs> kids. I love Tony Schiavone, bro, for that. Selling drugs. <laughs> Yo, can't say that's slander. Tony 
do everything pro wrestling believes that you are a good man. Tony, Tony's my guy. Man. All right, bro. Tony, Tony's my. You guy. can't say that anymore. I'm just saying. Don't. No, 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 no. You ain't saying nothing on this. Daddy, chill. All right, you gotta, you gotta chill with that. Listen, Tony, Tony's my guy. Somebody said Tony went dad mode. <laughs> Lieutenant Loco. I love <laughs> Lieutenant Loco. Listen here, you little prick. Yeah. Tony went in during this, man. Uh, I thought it was great. He announces that next week there's going to be a tag match. Didn't I say this when we were watching yeah. it last week, bro? Yeah. I said they're going to do a tag match with these two. This is going to be a four-way. There's no way you could have done this. They were just filling time up with this because Tony's not used to booking four-way feuds. And no. they're weird. Yeah. So four four way four way feuds is is absolutely hard to to, hard to, build. to build up to. Yeah. The like, match will be great. It's just the getting there. Yeah. Like, like how how do you how do you structure that to be like all right, this is gonna be this is gonna be worth the while, but I have to figure out how to structure it right so that it makes sense. Right. Steel chairs and his angry dog. Call it mad dog, man. Uh, Sammy kissed MJF so much I thought Marco Stunt was on his blog. Poor Marco. AKI rules. Use all the weapons you want outside of the ring. Uh, Goldberg kicked the goat in the head once. Oh, don't start. No Bret Hart stuff. Don't get the Bret Hart fans started. Yeah, please. You know, life would be better if it wasn't for Bill Goldberg. <laughs> Bret, they always insert Bret Hart to say something negative. Yeah, it was a nice day here in Canada until Bill Goldberg came and ruined it. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong though, bro. And why did we call him Bill Goldberg? It's supposed Yo, to be everybody. Supposed to, no, it was supposed to just be Goldberg. By that point, he was like, "Don't call me Bill, Bill Goldberg." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I I think after getting kicked in the head, bro, I definitely think he has all rights to say Bill Goldberg. <laughs> Jocelyn said, "I called the four way uh, during uh, Double or Nothing watch along." Yep. Sammy needs to switch to tights or just open up <laughs> an OnlyFans. I agree with that. Tony went all dad mode. I love Tony, bro. Tony had me cracked up. You sure uh, it's Chavo tweeting and not Kerwin White? Wow. Oh. Uh, he thought Brett was Jenny. Uh, let's see here. Karate Kid, LOL. Good old Johnny. WrestleMania 16, a con in each corner. Peace. <laughs> Tony Khan, Nick Khan, and Shaka Khan. <laughs> Kubla Khan. <laughs> Eric Bischoff, Triple H, Rollins, y'all going in. Uh, man, could have saved Brett from Goldberg with the ring, ring bell. Remember, Brett versus Sean, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> going in, man. People, people love it, man. Always good with wrestling stuff. So four ways happening. I hope uh, everyone's hyped for that. It's going to be a good match. Next up, you know it's all about that boom. Adam Cole comes out. He is pissed. There ain't no happy Adam Cole. He's walking to the ring with a purpose. He is mad. I like this fire in this promo. He There's no Adam Cole when he comes out putting the fingers up and doing the whole Adam Cole, baby. None of that. Adam Cole is out here, and uh, he calls out Jericho. He's like, get your ass out here. Chris Jericho appears on the Contron, and they're out there, and he sends, he's like, get him, boys, you know, a classic villain. Here come the JAS. They put a beat down on him. Yep. Orange Cassidy makes the save, and yes. they reference Orange Cassidy and Adam Cole had beef. That was right. the, Orange Cassidy's the first person to defeat Adam Cole as well. And not only that, but Bandito was with him. I like it. Puts Bandito in a prominent spot. Pushes right. him up. Exactly. Nothing. That, and and that, that that's fair for Bandito. Like that. That's fair. I like that. Now he, he needs that push. Somebody said Rocka Khan. Oh hell no! Nah. She's suing everybody right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, she crazy. I don't, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. She she's doing too much. We <sighs> that perk angle. You can't be messing with that in TNA. Let me. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it wouldn't be me, though. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, so they're out there. It's still... <laughs> you just realized what that was from when I said that? <laughs> yeah. I knew it would take a second to register. <laughs> uh, shout out to Boondocks. Uh, so afterwards, they're still getting jumped. It's only Orange, Adam Cole, and who comes out and makes... Their debut, which I was shocked by. I was definitely shocked too. 
Roderick Strong makes his debut. I saw a bunch of people reference it. Roger Strong comes out, the Messiah of Backbreakers, and he was breaking backs. And I said that with a little M. <laughs> but he was breaking backs, bro. Just he was he was jacking boys up. He looked like he hadn't been in in a minute. Yeah. Uh, the injury looked like it took a little bit out of him. But Roderick Strong's back, bro. Can we talk about Bobby Fish? Bobby Fish <laughs> fucking fumbled the bag, bro. Yo. Fumbled the bag. Look at this. We have we could have had undisputed era in AEW. You fucking moron. How did you mess th- yo? How did you mess this up? Bro, he he's he's he is an idiot, bro. Fumble! <laughs> Fumble! You know what? I, I said it, and I know people may disagree with me if you're a big undisputed era fan. I thought that Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly was the better tag team. Oh, I, absolutely. I enjoyed their matches more. Absolutely. I know Bobby Fish, that was his role, but I liked it better. Bobby's role was just to be off screen. And but I didn't mind uh Roderick Strong too as the North American champion. I thought he was going, put solid matches on. Yeah. And him being with someone who could talk for him a little bit more, add some of that little charisma in there. Because he's a great wrestler, phenomenal wrestler. That's never been his issue. It's been how do you talk for him? What's his what's his character supposed to be? Roger Strong's back. And I think at this point he's got legacy character. Like he's just Roger Strong. He's he's here to beat yeah. your ass. Yeah. Um yeah, Bobby, you 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 really fucked up, bro. Like, like you you wanted to leave and go back home, and now you don't have the keys to the home anymore. That shit's been sold. He got so he fucked up. Period. Bobby Fish fucked up badly. Yes, he could have been with Roger Strong. I, I'm hoping Kyle O'Reilly gets better. I know he has some surgery complications. I know that he's got some uh, other health things that could complicate that. Um. For those who don't know, he has diabetes. So sometimes that stuff will complicate things. But I want Kyle O'Reilly back in AEW. Yes. I really want to see that. So we're pulling for you, Kyle. Uh, Roderick, I'm glad you're here. And you know what? I'll say this, to be fair to Bobby Fish. If Bobby Fish could pull his shit together, I don't know if Tony would want to hire him. I could definitely see why not because of all the shit he talked. But you know what? If we're bringing Punk back, fuck it. Bobby Fish, if you can make amends and do right, bring him back. Because he, he really isn't going to have a lot a long run in him. And you need tag teams right now. That's one thing I feel AEW needs. Yeah. Um, Bobby, you got to bite the bullet, bro. If you – like, you you had you have a situation – or you had a situation here that you completely erased because you felt – you got in your feels, bro. It wasn't that serious, honestly. I mean, if that were the case, you never should have left where you were at. Oh, thank you, Rob. Uh, I do retract that statement also that I made about Raka Khan. Very good point. Touche. And Tony Schiavone, we, Derek retracts his statement as well on I behalf do. of Everything Pro Wrestling because we don't want any losses because, number one, we're broke. And number two, yeah. I don't want to have to have the GoFundMe up <laughs> paying for Derek's legal fees. <laughs> All right? He said, allegedly. Pause, Conrad. Pause. <laughs> Play. <laughs> Bobby Fish is stupid. Where's the lie? Yeah. Head ass. <laughs> Fish had a case of the punk itis. He knew damn well he shouldn't have kicked out of that GTS. Old four touchdowns in Polk high ass. <laughs> Bud Bundy. <laughs> uh breaking news. This is not a joke. Peacock escaped the zoo in the Bronx. Wait. Breaking news, this is not a joke. A peacock escaped the zoo in the Bronx. Already attacked one person, first the alligator in Prospect Park, and now this, NYC, LOL. Terrible. Roddy came out to his first ROH theme song, Kill Switch Engage. Uh, Fish went to school with Jonah Hex and why? Oh. <laughs> Yo, chill, E. Just let Kyle be an amazing dad right now for a while. Uh, listen, Kyle's recovering. Uh, what did Fish do wrong now? No, we're just saying he's a dump. He blew the spot. You could have had yes. all of Undisputed Era together. You would have been made. Yes. But all, I don't know why Bobby Fish did all that complaining. Maybe it's backstage stuff. Maybe I don't understand. But like I said, if Bobby Fish can let bygones be bygones and be cool about things, I think we can do something with that. But whatever you complained about, you're Bobby Fish. You have no say in this. Sorry. I'm going to let that just be Derek's thoughts on that one. Um, I'm sorry, bro. I mean, who who's running the show here? 
Well, that's a that's the question we're still trying to figure out with a lot of this. Oh, I, I mean, as far as undisputed era goes. Oh, Adam Cole. Exactly. Sure. And then who's next in line? Kyle O'Reilly. And then who's next in line? Roddy. <laughs> okay, then. Like you, you're you're the you're the bottom of the totem pole, bro. I'm sorry. Well, technically, to be fair, wait, what I don't think Kyle O'Reilly won the North American Championship. Someone let me know if I'm wrong about that. But maybe, maybe I think Kyle O'Reilly could could rise up to the occasion. He can. He definitely can. Bro, I undisputed air, I never watched for Bobby. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody said Dalton P Dalton Castle let his peacock go. Was Dalton Castle doing attacking attacking people in Prospect Park? <laughs> My boy Dalton Castle. Yo, best one of the top five, top ten entrances in AEW. Yes. Call me out. I don't care. I love it, dude. That joint is money. The boys. Uh, <laughs> shout out to my brother. That was that was definitely an inside joke with my brother at a ROH show. It's the boys. <laughs> What's good, bros? <laughs> QTV Powerhouse Hobbs. Uh, I like the Hobbs choke QT Marshall yes. and said, "Yo, you better fix this." And QT says, "We're gonna have to move on to Plan B." Uh, yeah, there was an assault in that little room that they're in. Right. I don't know what this QTV thing's supposed to be. He still got Solo with him. He got some people I'm trying to find something to do. We... Hobbs is better than this shit. He is. He this is. should be used to elevate someone who really you got nothing for. But yes. they're trying here, man. It gets QT some time. He did not win the NA title. Darn it. Bobby Fish used to hoot with Johnny Quest dad. Oh, damn. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Guys, Rampage starts at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. I don't know if I'm going to make it out of work on time to watch this even. Why? Why? It's, yo, this is why Rampage don't get viewers, bro. Right. It's always on at a different time, and there's always some crap going on. Always. I heard Bobby Fish was Astro Boy's grandfather. Johnny Quest, as an adult, you'll learn disturbing things about his dad. Moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, TBS Championship. We had one more title match for the night, and it was the TBS champion Jay Cargill versus Taya Valkyrie. Uh, I thought this was solid. Don't forget in this matchup, we learned on Rampage that there was an agreement made. Smart Mark Sterling says that Taya is not allowed to use her finisher, uh, the other version of the Jaded or... Uh, it's called the fall from Valhalla. If I, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but she uses the same move, Jaded. And uh, Jay Cargill in this match, I thought she impressed. She, she, she looked did. like she was in the right spots, getting better. Jay getting them reps in. And Taya is the perfect vet to put in there. Yes. I love Taya back there. I've loved her since the first time I saw her on Lucha Underground. Yeah. Great. No, Ty, Ty, <clears throat> excuse me. Taya is definitely, um, Top notch in my book. She 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 does what she has to do, gets people where they need to be. I would like to see her actually get a uh, a run with the title too, though. Yeah, yeah. I think eventually she could get there. Uh, Taya. Well, we just spoiled the finish of this. <laughs> Jade hit a destroyer in this. Uh, Taya blocks Jaded. Taya sets up for her finisher, but when she hesitates. She gets caught. Jade wins with a little roll up. Hit her with yeah. a little roll up action, which was different. Yeah, because Jay usually dominates. This one, she looked like she got by by the skin of her teeth. Yeah, th this one actually look, looks like she got uh, dominated throughout the whole match, pretty much. I like this though. Yes, I like this. This added some heat to this, and yes. I like the after match stuff they did here too. So after uh, she attacks immediately, Smart Mark Sterling and. Uh, the baddies, or well, the one baddie, the one baddie. who was out there, and they roll out. They they take the powder. They get out the ring, and then Aubrey Edwards gets in her face, and she grabs Aubrey like she's about to hit her with a slam. I was like, "Yo, this is great." The rest like put her down. She's she calm. She calms down. This ain't over. I, I agree with Jocelyn. This ain't over. The Beth Phoenix joint. The what was that? The Phoenix Slam. I can't remember what they called it. I wish they had let Taya do it on Aubrey. <laughs> Sick. Sick would have been huge fines, Terrell. So that's what I was thinking. That's oh, why she yeah. didn't do it. Big fines. Spine on pine. Um, after that, we get some follow-up with Jamie Hader and Britt Baker. Britt Baker had a mean shiner. Uh, Jamie Hader's arms in a sling, and they're talking about they're not gonna keep taking this crap from the outcast. This feud right. continues. I am looking 
very forward to seeing what they do yes. at Double or Nothing with this match. They got to have some type of big blow-off match here. They do. They do. But what is it? What do they do? We're, we'll have to wait and see. I think this one's going to develop some more. But Britt Baker's eye. Ugh. Give her a steak. <laughs> she needs one. Thank you, uh, Matt Lopez, the glam slam. I could not think of it. For a story, Aubrey would have done it. Yeah, for sure. Shoot, RJ already got beat up tonight. The AW roster was mad. Right. P.O.'d. Uh, let's talk about what we got on Rampage. Rampage, we're getting uh, Sean Spears and Ricky Starks versus Jay White and Juice Robinson. I thought this was going to be a pay-per-view match, but oh, yeah. it's happening on Rampage, baby. But I think the real money match, though, is Ricky and Jay White. It has to be. It has to be Ricky. I just don't think it's fair. I just don't think Spanish. Anywho, Ricky Starks will be on there. Ricky Starks and Jay White, like I said, I think that's the pay-per-view match. Is Sean Spears joining Bullet Club Gold? I don't trust him. Uh, I don't I don't think so. I don't uh yeah, I don't I don't think so. I would like to say I don't think so, but it may be possible. Um No, I, I I don't think he should, but he might. Jocelyn loving it, loving it. The um yeah, shoot. The I don't know, man. I don't know if he'll join. It, it's it's up in the air, bro. It's up in the air because I, Spears feels like he's the same character. Yes, but I think he deserves something more. Yes. Um, we'll see what they do. Tag matches for Rampage five thirty. We got Naturally Limitless in action. That's Keith Lee and Dustin Rose. So they're still doing a tag team thing. I'm sure Swerve's story with Keith Lee is not done yet. Nope. Uh, the Acclaim addresses the people. Should be good. We better get a wrap. Uh, Cash Wheeler versus Jay Lethal as well. I'm with it. Same here. That's Friday, 530 Eastern Standard Time. Next week, you got yourselves a big tag match. Uh, we got ourselves the JAS versus Adam Cole and his squad of Orange Cassidy. Baby. Bandito. Bandito and Roderick Strong debuting next week in a four on four match against the JAS. And next week, we have ourselves a uh, what I wrote down big tag match. What was the other match now? Ooh. I'm having a brain fart for what it was. Um, um, but da da dum dum da dum dum. I feel like I said something about a tag match earlier. Oh, um, was it Jeff Jarrett? No, no, oh, no. Shoot. Oh, the big tag match was uh, MJF, Sammy. I'm stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah. MJF, Sammy versus uh, Jungle Boy and Darby Allen. Right. Boom. Got it. Pillars tag match. See, Matt Lopez on it. I like your idea better of uh, Big Bill and the Guns and Bullet Club Gold. I'm telling you. And then they're just going to have to kick out my man Stokely, sadly. Unless you want Bullet Club to have some foolishness in it. But could Stokely be the new ghetto? <laughs> Possibly. Could you imagine the promos for Forbidden Door? Stokely going in on ghetto? <laughs> Yo, I don't know if I talked to you about this, bro. I, did I send you that that thing where he was talking about he came out of therapy and he was behind the strip club? No. I was like, oh, here he goes. He was like, yeah, and another thing. He was like, I'm tired of your kids too. I'll you know what I'll do to them. And he was like, I'll cancel Disney on all their asses. <laughs> Little bastards. And I was like, yo, Stokely is getting beat up by Matt Hardy. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, we're taking out all the Hardys, except for Rebby. I heard she, I heard she got the blicky. <laughs> yo, Stokely Hathaway is like pure gold, bro. He is. He is. Me and Rob say he's too black for TV. Oh, absolutely. He's a, guilty, absolutely. he's a guilty pleasure. I love him every week. Absolutely. Now, this match, I was surprised main evented. And I know this is something we had all brought up before, but we have the Butcher and Blade versus what are being dubbed the Golden Brothers. I think that was Don Callis doing some uh, work here uh, versus Kenny Omega and Kenosuke Takeshka. Now, BCC Brian Danson comes out uh, early on. Great tag action. They show like they're working well together. Uh, Kenny Omega and Takeshka. Takeshka hits a big brain buster on the butcher. Blue thunder bomb. Yes. 
Derek loves that blue thunder bar. Love it, bro. Someone has to lose to that. Well, yeah. I've only seen like two people go down from it. I think that's the Sami Zayn. Yes. The uh you know who else used to do that move? Val Venus. Oh yeah, yeah. Hello, ladies. I don't want to lick my thumb, but you know, he used to always hit that. You know what the big Balboski? <laughs> I came, I saw, then I came again. <laughs> oh, filthy ass Val Venus jokes. Yo. This is explicit. <laughs> Not for the kids. Um, getting back into this, the uh Blue Thunder Bomb got hit on the of the butcher. Blade makes a save. Yo, Takeshka rocks this dude with a big running knee to the face. Kenny then follows up with a snapdragon. He finally hits the big dive on the floor. Kip Sabian tried to trip him up, but he got hit with this uh, dive when he finally went for it earlier. Uh, Takesh gets the running knee on the Butcher. One, two, three. Stop disrespecting the Butcher and the Blade, man. Right. Can we please do my idea with them? Make them like the APA? Yes. That's my the end of my rant for them tonight. But Takeshka hits the big knee. Danielson gets on the mic, and BCC gently kind of toss out Takeshka. I, I kind of peeped it. And then here come the Young Bucks. Yo, Claudio Castagnoli is the best athlete out of the BCC, I think. He well, booked it, bro. He booked it. The Young Bucks ducks. He eats super kicks for his troubles. Uh, they're coming on. They take the screwdriver away that Danielson brought out from the BCC. Uh, Kenny gets his hands on it. They're about to use it, and then Takeshka dance and grabs him and says, get in there and stop him from using it on Moxley. He's like, don't use it on John, please. They're arguing, and then afterwards the BCC beat them down. They're like, okay, we're good to go. And then Takeshka's in the ring with them. I'm like, oh, shit, they're about to do it. They're going to make this turn happen. And he's like, yes, what I want to do is I want to – he basically invited him to join the BCC. He did. Keshka kind of was like, no. And that little shithead, Wheeler Yuta, of course he strikes first. You told me no. Beat his ass. Ugh. And they just take him out. Wheeler Yuta starts stomping him, whatever they had to do. He gets beat down real bad. And then Danielson says, you made your choice. Pulls, the, grabs the screwdriver, takes it to his head. And that's how we go off the air. Listen, I'm telling you, I still believe. I still believe Takeshka is joining BCC. Then you could have the only partners that make sense in all of this would be Hangman and Kota Ibushi. Right. Join them for blood and guts against those five for the BCC. That's yes. how I see it going down. Has to be that way. Has to be that way. It's the only way it works. <laughs> Matt Lopez, I'm going to say it. Takeshka got what he deserved. Dumbass. He said, you call yourself ghetto? Well, I'm ghetto. <laughs> Play Bow Wow music. That's, that's all we're going to hear. Uh, Lake was not dra- dragged since Midnight Riders uh, to beat up DDT in Japan. Yeah. Good old DDT. Matt with them Sunday best booty shorts I see. <laughs> Wheeler with the low blow. What a dirtbag Wheeler Yuta is. Uh, Dennis the Menace, a.k.a. Shithead Yuta, needs a timeout. He is the Dennis the Menace of AEW. Mr. Wilson. I'll never forget that scene in the movie where Mr. Wilson, they were grilling steaks. Oh. And then he had the little paint joint fly on it, and he was eating it. Yo, someone would have died from you can't show kids that. What? Phone died. I missed a bunch, but I'm going to comment and help that algorithm for the parts I missed. Press the like button. Yes, comments definitely help in the algorithm. I will respond to you, even if it's just an emoji. Put it down there. Even if it's a poo emoji for Wheeler Yuta's behavior tonight. Uh, Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys must. And if you're listening on the audio version, hit us with that five-star review. We can use some more on Spotify. We got 14. Hit us with that five-star frog splash, man. Helps us out. Speaking of Bow Wow, what happened to that feud between him and Jade? Uh, mm. R.I.P. That's a, I think Dude, they just pulled the plug. Yeah, that that was a bad idea anyway. That's a fact. That's a fact. Um, Guys, tell me what you give tonight's Dynamite, man. Let me know what you thought of the show out of 10, out of French fries, out of burgers, whatever you guys want it to be. Derek, I'm coming to you first, man. What did you think of tonight's episode? I thought it was good. Um, given the circumstances for it, 
Um, I, I definitely think it was good. I think it was good. What are you giving it, though? Mm-hmm. We'll go B minus. June Akiyama, you said a mean blue thunder bomb. That he did. That he did. I miss Eddie Kingston too a little bit. Yeah. I definitely watched Eddie Kingston cut a promo, and I believe it was progress on a fallen Ilya Dragunov. Oh. <laughs> and he was he went in. Um, I'm sorry, what'd you say? Uh B minus. B minus for tonight. Yeah, B minus. Uh Matt Lopez is going seven out of ten, EPW ten out of ten, negative twenty for shithead Yuda. It's all right. <laughs> It's all right. It's better than uh, R- Rob Zombie, I still say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shithead you over Rob Zombie. Bro, I don't know if I responded to you when you sent me that. Yo, you know who sent yeah. me that? I think BJ did originally. Yeah, Somebody was... definitely found that, and I died laughing. Or no, Doug found it. Let me give Doug full credit. Yeah. Doug definitely found it, and I saw it on his page, and I was just like, yo. Yo, boys are definitely uh, wilding with this. Let me see. <laughs> Rob Zombie making brownies. Eggs, milk, and flour, bake for half an hour, and frost with the back of my spatula. <laughs> yo, that was hilarious, bro. Yo, I was dying yo, when I yo, seen it. Yo, shout out to Doug. Someone said Mr. Wilson over Rob oh, Zombie. Come on, come on, BJ. Nah, Mr. Wilson definitely was about to beat Dennis's ass some of those times, bro. He's about to give a mean beat down. This show gets a seven Dennis the Menaces out of ten. Uh, you know what? I feel like that's fair. I would probably go like, see, I'm getting into the points now. I'd be like 6.8 tonight. 6.8 show. It was all right. It served its purpose. Uh, e said thumbs up show. That sounds better than any of the Rob Zombie's other songs. <laughs> wow, bro. Technical. Can't be... Nah, he deserves it. Fuck, fuck it. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't wrong. Flag. On the play. It was really those movies. I never had a beef yeah. with this music. It was the movies. I'm yeah. like, yo, bro, someone take the someone take the pencil out of his hand. The longer uh the longer life goes, the more I relate to Mr. Wilson. <laughs> For sure. Um, as you guys can hear, I got the intern screaming in the background. I got some stuff to do. He's got some stuff to do. Uh, I want to say thank you for everyone who tuned in, joined us tonight. Thank you if you tuned in after the fact. Show us some love. Leave some comments down below. I'll be sure to respond like I do every single week. And thank you for watching this installment of Everything Pro Wrestling. For myself and the man they call Derek, we are out for this episode one.